Hi there, Alan Smith. Hi there to everybody from both of us. And welcome to this big match today. The game today, Tottenham against Sheffield United. today's Tottenham Hotspur team. Don't always see it these days. Two up front, 4-4-2. Four, four, yeah, and good to see because uh, those two boys up front, they have got a good partnership, a good understanding. This is how the visitors shape up. Well, more often than not, we're looking at teams that shape up this way, Alan. Yeah, such a popular system. 4-2-3-1. It gives you a lot of stability, and if you're front four, as you might describe them, are good players, it's a really potent system. Alan, I know in your playing days you wouldn't want to talk about Tottenham Hotspur, Arsenal's great rivals, of course, but as a distinguished, impartial broadcaster, where do you see them now in the pecking order? Are they a bit, little bit short still of, of being a, a Premier League super club? Well, I think they are, Martin. It's that glass ceiling that's so hard to break through. It needs a lot of investment. I think they've... Uh, a decent chance of, of doing it particularly when they get into their new stadium but you know there's a lot of big powerful clubs ahead of them Luis Ramiro Orozco is today's ref it should be a tremendous game and uh, here we go is uh, definitely part of the attacking plan shot on just over the top Decent cross. Good take by the goalkeeper, but no pressure on him. A lot of people thinking this game could be over very quickly as a contest in favour of Tottenham Hotspur. Now it goes into the wider areas where they've got a winger waiting. Turner. the cross well, the ball deserved perhaps a penalty the penalty I think it was clear cut and the fact that the referee's not booked anyone is that a bit lenient maybe but on the plus side I think he's showing a bit of common sense the penalty I feel is punishment enough Takes some doing. Well, it's a goal worth replaying over and over again, isn't it?
good idea to try and use the width on the pitch but it's gone out for a throw Turner well he saw the guy could switch to play to and came up with the pass as well excellent for Turner across the field to try and switch the play confident and quality on the ball well it will be dealt with easily by the defenders there it wasn't a great cross in truth now they can build from the back the opposition possession here so Spurs have got this lead looking at the clock there's a uh, half time on the horizon of course and it might be quite a difficult second half for them they'd like another goal that's for sure for Turner He's won it back. That's a really good tackle. For Turner. He's better usually at crossing. Last half time at 1-0. I think that's a good performance, isn't it, Alan, from him in the first half? Well, he played really well, didn't he? And he got himself a goal to put his team ahead. He'll be pleased with that first 45 minutes. Well, second half coming up and I'm sure you're all looking forward to it Spurs hold the, uh, the cards at the moment well, it's a nice bit of skill but the defending well it was woeful
throw. Substitute ready for Tottenham Hotspur. And that'll be a throw. He has got the opportunity to change the tactics as well as the players with some movement from the bench. Substitution for Spurs coming up. Now they've won the ball back and trying to make something of it quickly. And here's the shot. Well, there was the opportunity to get them back on level terms. Well, I think he snatched at that a little bit. Just needed a call ahead when it mattered. Substitution coming up as they look to make sure they hold their lead till the final whistle. Well, they're still leading and they've decided to go for a fresh player in the hope of hanging on to that lead. substitution it's for the away team what he was trying to do just stretch the opposition by getting the ball out wide but it's gone out for a throw for 
Oliver Turner. It's a poor touch and the possession's gone away. He's got his tackle in and the ball's gone out now. Well, that was quickly done. been deflected out so there'll be a throw in the players are a bit unhappy about this but we can see it again whether it should have been offside or not it's called offside oh, who'd be a linesman but this linesman He's one of the best, and he gets it right here. It's the expected move. The extra striker for the team that's struggling. Well, that's going to ask some different questions of that defence. Can they cope? game particularly I think for the Tottenham supporter uh, who tried his luck from a long way out but the goalkeeper had no problems at all three minutes that's what's going to be played for added time Backwards, all the way to the goalkeeper. And that's it, last blast on the whistle from the referee. Some final thoughts on one of the better performers today, Alan. Good performance from him, and uh, I think that was probably the difference between the two teams.